The human body is a complex web of interconnected systems. Hormones are responsible for influencing the way that these systems interact with one another. One category of hormones is known as stress hormones. These hormones are designed to put the body in a state of rapid preparedness and are strongly associated with the fight or flight response. One of the most powerful and ubiquitous stress hormones is known as cortisol. Testosterone is the primary hormone of male virility, and it has a complex relationship with stress hormones, notably cortisol. Historically, humans had to deal with much more dangerous and intimidating situations than we currently have to deal with today. Cortisol is released when the body senses an immediate danger to the self. Cortisol is intended to be released in brief bursts, designed to get humans out of a sticky situation with a life and a limb. In such a case, testosterone levels spike at the same time as cortisol levels, helping men have the strength and the rapid response rate necessary to get out of trouble. After the threat has passed, cortisol levels are supposed to fall. Unfortunately, the modern world and the current human mind create a sort of tension that was likely not present in the ancient consciousness or the minds of our evolutionary ancestors. The same large and complex brains that have allowed us to develop modern society create monsters within our own minds. Today's rational mind is still intrinsically connected to the ancient stress management system. But now we have to deal with psychological stress in a manner that was not once the case, even in the relatively recent past. Psychological stress and physical stress are connected by the same response systems, and the complex and sometimes overwhelming society that we live in today can create overwhelming mental stress, leading to major issues related to chronic stress. As previously mentioned, hormones like cortisol are intended to help with immediate stressors, to return us to a state of more natural balance. Our bodies are simply not designed to handle chronic stress well, which leads to a variety of health issues, including testosterone deficiency. In the modern world, we rarely experience the sort of stressful spikes that were once commonplace, but we now have to deal with a constant pounding from a host of different, minor forms of stress, which all deplete our capacity to produce beneficial hormones, while also impairing psychological and physical well-being. In an ideal system, our bodies have plenty of the core components necessary to produce optimal levels of testosterone and cortisol to help men function at their peak. Unfortunately, chronic stress creates an imbalanced system which favors cortisol over testosterone. Your body is constantly primed to deal with stress, and it spends more energy producing cortisol than it does testosterone. Cortisol belongs to a group of hormones called catabolic hormones, meaning that they tear your body down in the long term to benefit you in the short term. Testosterone belongs to the class of anabolic hormones designed to promote long-term health and function. Anabolic hormones help your body build and rehabilitate. The reverse is also true because testosterone and cortisol are antagonistic hormones. When we take steps in our life to promote elevated testosterone levels, by staying active, eating well, and developing positive consciousness, cortisol levels fall as testosterone levels rise. Cortisol and other stress hormones are physiological responses to outside or internal stressors, which means that they can be managed. Though stress and anxiety may have external sources, we can adopt psychological and physical strategies to mitigate how our minds respond to stress hormones and how our subconscious mind activates stress pathways. It's important to reiterate that cortisol is an important part of the human physiology, and while it's healthy to keep its production at a minimum, it still plays an important role. It gets our asses in gear. It tells us that it's time to go and get things done. For example, cortisol levels increase slowly during the night as we sleep, finally reaching a point at which it spurs us awake. By managing stress and keeping cortisol production at a reasonable level, we can encourage amplified testosterone production while also promoting a healthier mindset and lifestyle. Though testosterone is associated with masculinity, bravado, and confidence, it's also associated with peace of mind and can be promoted through mindful meditation and other relaxation techniques.
So there you have it. Relax more, make more testosterone. But wait, it's obviously more complicated than that. There's not a magic button you can press and make stress go away. It's a conscious psychological effort. Like most aspects of human function, our ability to relax and fend off anxiety is like a muscle. By making small efforts to improve how you manage stress and promote mindfulness, you can make major changes over time. But you have to take that first step. Finding relaxation and contentment in the face of constant stress and anxiety takes effort. You have to take stock of your life, figure out what drives you and what facilitates your happiness. Furthermore, you have to recognize what negative aspects of your lifestyle trigger anxiety and figure out ways to separate yourself from that stress or figure out ways to manage and cope with that particular stressor. In this sense, mindset is key. Take stock of your life and make a concerted effort to figure out what drives you, what motivates you, and how you find fulfillment. There's a difference between relaxation and a passive sedentary lifestyle. An inactive body and mind both promote stress. If you just lay on the couch watching television all day or compulsively reading websites, even hours, it's not going to put you in a healthy state of mind. It's the same with physical stress. Laying in bed all day isn't going to make you feel refreshed. It's going to make you feel even more fatigued and exhausted. One of the best ways to promote testosterone balance is to get active and stay active. Even if it's just going for a morning walk or engaging in some light exercise, physical exertion keeps stress hormones manageable. On the psychological side of things, practicing yoga or meditation is a powerful way to promote mental wellness. Mindful meditation, in particular, is highly effective at encouraging psychological stability. Mindful meditation is the act of simplifying and isolating your thoughts, taking control of your mind. Instead of letting your mind flutter and bounce from idea to idea, you focus your mind. This can be difficult to do at first, but by making an effort to promote psychological control, you can improve hormone balance effectively. Of course, there are other ways to promote a similar state of mind. Rather than lounge around, pick up a book or engage in a hobby that supports psychological wellness and focus. By building yourself up psychologically and physically, you can also enhance your testosterone balance and protect against low T. If you found this video informative, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel. To learn more about health and wellness regarding testosterone replacement therapy, please click the link below in the description.